G'day, I'm the Home Distiller, and today I'm um, not really doing a project video or anything. I'm just just more of a vlog. Um, I'm probably going to call this one uh, running a small batch. Yeah, I'm just going to go over a few projects that I've slowly been working on and things I've been um, pottering around in the shed. Um, first update is probably the belt grinder, which is in pretty much the same state as it was on the last video. Um, I've made a lot of the pulleys for it, um, and basically there was a hip hiccup on the the video, and I lost a lot of footage, and then it's just kind of, you know, gone on the back burner, and, and uh, I've, I haven't really been mentally of the right sorts in the last while. Um, I'm coming good now, which is good. Starting to potter around in the shed a bit more, and hopefully, um, going to start doing some videos. Um, I want to start doing more just kind of... I was having trouble getting the motivation to edit and stuff like that so I want to try and do a bit more... The videos are going to be a bit haphazard and a bit more freeform, not that my editing was the great in the first place, the best in the first place, but just a bit more... less cuts and I'm just going to film little bits here and there and stuff like that so... Bear with me. Hopefully, we'll get the ball rolling again. And I mean, I'm almost at uh, I'm over five and a half thousand subscribers, and I haven't put any videos out, and I don't know how long. Um, but anyway, what have I been doing? Well, this is probably the main thing: this monstrosity of plumbing and, and piping. It's a I'm not going to say. Um, uh, it's a medium vacuum system. I've got a Chinese kind of mechanical vein pump um, and a an old oil diffusion pump that, which I've got some photos of. Um, hopefully I'll tack them in now while I'm blabbing over it. It was all in parts. Um, actually, tell a lie, I've got some video. I've got a bit of video and some photos that I took on my phone. I'll tack that in. But basically, it's pretty much in its final configuration of plumbing. Um, this is the main input, or, you know, vacuum side up here. Um, I had to weld on some custom fittings. Well, actually, I'm, I'm using triclover fittings, which are, jet, which are um, actually like dairy or... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Food grade fittings? Sanitary fittings. Um, which they're actually very similar to the um, KN style fittings, which I've got one on the back here on the per, uh, Peroni. Per, Peroni? Perini? Peroni? Perani? Perani gauge? Um, and they're, they're actually very, very similar. They're just the, the seals on these have a metal ring to locate them in the middle, whereas these are just a, a gasket. Um, and I had to make I've had to make a custom T piece up here, which I have to remake because the I've got too much warpage in it, um, and it's twisted the flanges. Um, I have a custom little bellows pipe up here. Oh, let's let's grab the camera, shall we? Bear with me. So there's the custom bellows pipe that I made. Um, that's just brazed. This is the custom T that I made. You can see there's a heap of warpage. I was using cheapo Chinese um, uh, gas lenses on my TIG. And the reason I was having so much trouble welding it is basically no shielding at all. So. It's terrible, absolutely terrible, so I'm going to remake this. Um, um, and I've made this custom fitting here, and as you can see, it's a... Uh, if it'll focus, hurrah, hurrah, here we go, in focus. And as you can see, it welds much, much nicer when you actually have some shielding gas. Um, uh, what else have we got? That, that there is the 
standard kind of vacuum fitting. As you can see, they're very similar. They've just got a, a clamp that goes around it and pulls two flanges together. Um, I still have to make a proper cooling system for the diffusion pump. At the moment, I have water running through it, but there's no cooling on it at all. This is just old computer cooling um, stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is, you can kind of see in the back there, there's a a little cheapo um, computer radiator. It's old as the hills. If that works fine, then I'll keep with that. I'll, otherwise, I do have a um, 240 mil, the longer radiator that I can use. Um, and that will be installed, and it'll actually be blowing air over this as well. Um, uh, what else? And this this isn't mounted at the moment. It's just kind of sitting on a block, and um, I had to after blowing the el original element up in it, I had to modify a cheapo 500 watt hot plate element to go on the bottom. That seems to be working great. Uh, this is going to be the temp the um, power control for it. It's not going to have a thermostat. It's just going to be a it's just pulse width modulation power control. Um, what else have we got? Um, this is for gas injection. Um, I can inject argon or you know let a bit of oxygen in or whatever the hell I want there. Um, on the top here. Um, I can put on, here we go, this fitting here for doing um, glass, evacuating glass, um, which I've been doing, I'll get to that in a second, been doing a lot of that. And I've also got this big honking plate of aluminium, which when I eventually build, there's, there's going to be a big frame built around this. Let me put you back over here. Um, so there's going to be a frame, just a tube, um, box tube frame. Hopefully this, I'll be able to take this um, riser out, um, to bring it all down a little bit, compact it a bit. Um, and what else? So everything will be contained within a thing, and then that metal plate will be able to go on top to use as a uh, for a large vacuum chamber, which I'm actually going to use, I've got a, a nice, what originally actually started all this, yeah, it's one of these degassing chambers with a nice perspex um, lid, so I'm actually going to make a, a, basically another pot, cut the bottom out of it. Cut the bottom out of it, so I have a a um, shut a bit more. Cut the bottom out of it, so I have a um, basically a tube I can put down and then put the glass on top, and that'll be my vacuum chamber. Um, what else have we got? Um, I have a, in the back here, a modified neon sign transformer, it's a 15,000 volt transformer that I've modified the windings slightly so it's probably 17,000 volt now. I've removed the centre ground so it's completely floating um, which means I can earth either end of the transformer rather than have it centre, centre tap earth. So I can get the full 17,000 volt above ground in phase so I can then put a normal bridge rectifier on it and everything else. I'll bring you over and show you that. Got a bit of I've been I've made a fuser which I'll talk about well, I'm gonna do some video on. Um, what other projects have I got on the go? Um, spot welder been there's another project the spa if you can hear that bearing in one of the spa motors is gone. Um, yeah, been doing some glass stuff. No good at that at all at the moment. Terrible. Um, um, oh, this is my... 
that's my my fuser. That's the grid. Made out of stainless steel TIG filler wire. Um, and doing some experiments with. That's just a test tube, and there's some um, phosphate in the bottom, so I can doing experiment. I plan on making a cathode ray tube. Um, oh, what else? Basically, doing doing lots of high voltage vacuum kind of experimentation and playing with. When I say lots, I'm still not getting out in the shed, out into the shed as much as I. would like to and like finding motivation lately has been extremely hard so I've only been managed I have three days off a week and I've been only managing to come out here a few hours a week I've just it's it's a yeah it's still hard to put it that way I have a big big honking collection of which I, I got off eBay cheap from a guy who was used to make neon signs bring around and as you can see I really got to clean up in here it's a disaster area um, but yeah you can see over in the corner there nice big fat honking pile of um, it's all borosilate glass tube $24 I think I paid for all of this like as you can see in some some nice some nice big stuff and all varying thicknesses and sizes and some more big stuff in there some really big stuff I mean that's almost two inches in diameter um, and then there's another whole box of half inch that whole box there is all half inch tube so I'm pretty set for that for a while still got you know bits and pieces oh this is another custom fitting I had to TIG weld I tick, and again, see what happens when you have proper shielding gas, it's easy to tick weld. Well, sorry, no, not easy to tick weld. It's quite a skilled thing, but it actually works when you have proper shielding gas. Um, so this is going to be my backfill for doing glass. So I don't need, oh, I'm, I'm hoping to get a bottle of neon gas at some stage, which is extremely expensive. Um, so far the cheapest I can probably get it for is going to cost me about a thousand dollars for a couple of hundred litres in a bottle. Um, that's a thousand Australian and that's actually imported from the US because yeah, I'm paying, going to be paying about four thousand for a, a bottle in Australia because you can only buy uh, that size bottle um, which is about two thousand, actually I think it was bigger than that. But yeah, anyway, it's basically for a hobby, hell no. Um, but this is going to be set up on there like that. And I've actually drained the oil out of this um, vacuum gauge because it, um, it's going to be th moved around a fair bit. And in order to get these to not read funny due to bar um, barometric pressure, you've really got to open the the little breather on it and of course um, that means oil will just dribble out everywhere anyway so I just drained all the oil out of that um, but yeah so that's that's the backfill so I don't I only have to backfill that little volume as extra and not all of that plumbing not that the not that the diffusion pump would get filled because you can shut it off from the system but all of this, all of that, all of that, all of it around the back. So I would have to fill basically from from this fitting here all the way around um, through here, up here, and up up into here. Um, and these these are shut off, so I can if the diffusion pump's running, I can isolate the diffusion pump, um, vent all all the back plumbing change the whatever experiment I'm doing shut that all back down again pump all this back down with the mechanical pump and then open it back to the diffusion pump so the oil never is exposed the hot oil is never exposed because these boil oil in the bottom 
um, and the vapors come up and then they're pushed down and basic um, applied science has done a very good video on how these work and 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 the this type of plumbing system too um, here's my neon sign modified neon sign transformer this bridge rectifier is still temporary I'm going to mount that on a piece of perspex but it's three microwave oven diodes in series on each leg um, so I can either ground the positive side or the negative side so I can have a negative or a positive potential above, above ground for, depending on if, what the experiment I'm doing whether I'm making a fuser or a um, CRT because they, they want opposite polarity above ground and I'm running that off of a variac um, and I have um, the original neutral, the original um, tap off the primary and then the reduced winding, the reduced turns tap um, which means I've actually got a slightly higher voltage out of it probably with a bit less current but um, and I had a brain fart when I I made it and I forgot to put the earth on the side and I'd already filled it with oil and pumped it down so I added it in the top but this is all full of, of mineral oil as you can see um, good old ammo box and there's a hole which is going to have a breather put on it and I, this has all been pumped down so there's no air in it or anything um, that's just a piece of perspex there to make to keep the transformer located um, uh, okay. so down you probably can't see it but the normally the secondaries on these is earthed to the core um, this core is now completely floating um, and the um, center tap is being removed and they're just joined together across there that's the and they're insulated by that so um good old um spark plugs as as standoffs um um and I made these these are just nylon bolts which I've which I've drilled. Um, where the hell did I put the nut for that? Now I'm just getting forgetful in my old age. I put it up there, didn't I? What a dingus. Um, uh, what else we got? Oh, that's I also got that gauge from the guy doing neon as uh, neon sign stuff. It cost me a dollar with the um, sensor although the one that I originally got was damaged um, which I actually managed to repair the the tungsten filament and it was broken but um, it com threw it completely out of whack and it wasn't accurate anymore so I bought another one which you know arrived safely and everything so that was good um, and I'm fuming the guy had a it was a three phase distribution transformer, a bubby little one. It was about oh, maybe three times the size of that ammo box, and it would have been. Per I, I missed out on it. It didn't actually get bid, bid on, on eBay. When I went to pick it up, she'd put it on Craigslist, uh, on, on Gumtree, which is like Craigslist, for someone to come and take it for free, and someone had said, Oh, yeah, I'll come get it. And I was fuming. I should have, so should have bid on it and bought it. But anyway, don't worry, she'll be right. Uh, this is the ex the only other bits I've made for the um, the belt sander. I made the um, the main. Uh, this is the uh, idle pulley with, that's going to do the um, tracking adjustment. That's why it's got the crown on it. And these are the two main wheels for either side of the the platen. Um, I do have to, unlike in the video that I made up. I was going to use the. Sorry, I'm completely out of shot. Um, unlike in the video, I was going to use the um, flywheel off that um, uh, motor 
as the main drive pulley, but because of the diameter on it, it's way too big. It, the RPM those motors runs, it's going to be doing about a million feet per second. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a smaller pulley, probably about three inch, I think. So, about yay big as the drive pulley. Um, it should be fine because it should have a um, slow start, and it's going to be it's going to have a fair bit of um, uh, contact, a fair bit of wrap around it, so hopefully I'll have enough drive. If not, I'll um, might get a rubber coated um, uh, contact wheel and use that. That'll definitely give me enough grip. Um, I can't see it slipping. It's such a wide contact area. I can't see the belt slipping. So uh, put them back. Yeah. So that's the first vlog. Um, if you don't like vlogs and you see small batch in the title, that's going to be me doing a vlog. Um, if you want to know anything extra about any of the projects or any specific details about anything, just write it in the comments and I'll try and answer it or I'll do a follow up video. Um, yeah, just trying to find the, not the time. Trying to find the motivation at the moment has been a real struggle. Um, uh, I was, for a while there, I was quite, quite um, down and out of it, depressed. Um, but I think I'm coming out now, so it's. Uh, I've been a lot better from the last few months. I still have feeling better. I still haven't had the motivation to come out here, but just, just better. Been getting some, getting a fair bit of exercise and and um, trying to be positive about everything, so I think I'm getting there. Not that, you know, not that that's what this channel's about, but um, thanks for watching. See you next time.